Hello, and welcome to an updated tutorial uh, on how to get your PlayStation 3 controller to work with Minecraft. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this to run Minecraft, obviously, um, but you'll be able to use it to, for any game you want based on this tutorial. So the first things you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download these two files right here. One is the Mo Motion Joy Sign Drivers, and the other one is a better DS3 tool. So I'm going to have both of those linked uh, in the description so you can get them there. Um, but let's get started anyway. So once you have them both installed, you install the Motion Joy, and then you don't bother using it because um, it's just got a, a crappy DS3 tool on it. Um, you're going to get the better 3 D, uh, DS3 tool, and you're going to open that. So here I have it open. Um, so first thing um, it's going to do is it's going to say, Connect to controllers. You can have more than one connected. Uh, I have a few, but I'm only going to have one connected at, during this tutorial. So, um, as you can see, um, it has some lights on. Um, when you first plug it in, it'll have like the charging lights right here. Um, and we're going to show you how to change those to whatever you want, um, as well as to edit the controls to do whatever you want. So, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come in here and you're going to create a new profile. I already have one, I named it Minecraft because it's for Minecraft, and I'm just going to edit that one. So here you go. You have all these tools um, showing you what uh, the controls on the on the PlayStation 3 controller are, um, and you basically just want to um, scroll through these and change the controls to whatever you want. For the right stick, I used mouse right, uh, mouse move right, mouse move left, mouse move down, and mouse move up. Um, in that order. What that does is it lets you um, look around in Minecraft. Um, the left stick I put to D, then A, then S, then W, and that's your WASD movement. Um, and then I just set the uh, right and left triggers. The right trigger, R2, was the mouse left button, and the right button was L2. Um, I used left shift for R1, that's uh, the sprint in my game. Um, cross was space, uh, triangle was I to open my inventory. Um, besides that, there are several others you could do. Um, you can also set this up with a macro program um, just to like lower the mouse speed if you're trying to do more fine work. Like when you open your inventory, you could also set it to lower the mouse speed. And when you close it, you could also set it to increase the mouse speed. Um, those are definitely optional, and I could do a tutorial on that if you are interested. Um, and then the other thing you can do is you can click battery or custom and you can light up whatever you want on your controller. So for this case, um, you can see I had two lights on right here. I'm going to make it three lights on just to show that I've changed something. Once you're done setting up your controls, you just click save profile. Now at this point, you can see I still have two lights on um, and it's not updated. So you have to click the apply, apply button first. Now you can see that there are three lights on on my controller um, and now all of the controls that I've set up should work so the first thing I'm going to do is open up Minecraft get it over here um, and then you'll see after I log into Minecraft that my controls are working as expected I'll just resize it to be as big as it can in a minute there we go all right so now I'm just going to go in single player really quickly, and we'll just show you that the controls are working. So I'm going to have my hand on the controller, and I look around, I jump, I check my inventory, walk around, and sprint. Or oh, that's uh, shift is sneak, so sneak. Sorry, I didn't have sprint mapped. Um, and there you go. There you have it. All on the controller. If you'd like to see how to set this up for a different game, it's fairly simple if you just set it up um, using the keyboard. You can just set it up directly. Um, but you can also use X input, which allows you to pretend that your PlayStation 3 controller is an Xbox controller for certain games that have already set up Xbox controls. So I could show you how to do that too. It's very, very simple. Um, this is an X input option in DS3 tool, and it's the same thing. So if you uh, like this video, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.